One of the most common viral elements that persists in human genomes is a chunk of DNA called an allo. Repeat, alice constitute at least 13% of the human genome. There were over 300 copies in Totori Jane's megacluster. She suspected that those allo repeats were turning on the immune system in the placenta, but her colleagues cautioned her against going down that road. The advice I was given was, don't touch Alice. Don't work with Alice. Forget about Alice. Totori Jain said, the multitude of Alice in the genome makes it tough to unpack what a specific set may be doing, but the data implicating Alice was too compelling to ignore. After years of careful experiments, Totori Jain's team showed that in the placenta, transcripts of all the repeats form snippets of double-stranded, Renal molecular silhouette are cells recognized as viral in origin. Sensing the fake virus, the cell responded by producing interferon on lambda. The cell is effectively dressing up as an infectious agent, Kagan said. The result is that it convinces itself that it's infected and then operates as such. Immune responses can be destructive, and antiviral responses especially so because viruses are at their most dangerous when they're already inside a cell. Most immune strategies that target viral infections work in part by damaging and killing infected cells. For that reason, cells cry virus at their own risk in most tissues. All sequences are highly suppressed so that they never get a chance to mimic a viral attack. And yet, that is the exact scenario the placenta seems to create on purpose. How does it balance the health of the growing embryo with a potentially risky immune response? In experiments with mice, Totori Jane's team found that the placenta's double-stranded RNA letters and ensuing immune response did. NT seemed to hurt the developing embryos. Instead, they protected the embryos from Zika virus infection. The placental cells were able to tow the linoconfering protection on the embryos. Without cueing a self-destructive immune response of echoes, they call in the gentler defenses of interferon lambda. Typically, the first responders to double-stranded allo or any escapees are type 1 and typed interferons, which quickly recruit destructive immune cells to the site of an infection, leading to tissue damage and even autoimmune disease. Interferon lambda, on the other hand, is a type 3 interferon, it acts locally by communicating only with cells within the tissue, generating a milder immune responsium that can be sustained long-term in the placenta. How placental cells manage to activate only interferon lambda, keeping the immune response simmering but never boiling over, is still a mystery. But Totori Jain has an idea about why placental cells evolve this trick that other cells seemingly avoid. Since the placenta is discarded at birth, perhaps it can afford to take immune risks that other tissues can't. 